Welcome to today's video. Today, this is the sewing of this dress. If you have not watched the sewing, please go to my video and watch uh, on how to cut this wonderful style. I wrote it the part one on how to uh, cut this wonderful style. So, the part two is the sewing part on how to sew this wonderful style part two. So, that is how I will. I put the right in there. So this is uh, this flay. I'm going to be cutting it into two. Look at this spray here. This is uh, standing peplum at this left side. This is that is what I cut. This is uh, the the flay. So I'm going to be cutting it together two two pieces of this dress. Because there is no how you can use lining for it. So you're going to use the same fabric for it for you not to show. So I've cut the first one and this is the second one where I will use this to turn this particular one and I have attached my peplum stay, get your peplum stay and attach it. It's this peplum stay that will make it to stand in, like this. Alright, so before uh, doing this particular one, I will first of all join the main, uh, the works, both the down and the upper side before I will come to this one. So keep on watching the video to the end. Alright, so I will be showing the... The, the flay, the, the, the standing flay for the sleeve. So this is how to sew it. Gum, remember to gum your pe peplum stay at the front side. Now take your peplum like this. There is no how you can use a uh, lining for it. So remember to cut two peplum. Now I'm facing it together, the two peplum together face to face. Remember my peplum is in the front, my gum, uh, pep, um, Peplum stay is in front. I've got it already. So I turn it. I face it face to face. I use my pin to hold it down. So what I'll be doing now, I will sew it round. I'm going to sew it round. I'm going to sew it round like this. Round like this. Up to this mass side. Now, later after, after I finish sewing this side, I now sew the inside again. Sew the inside. Let me use chalk to mark it so that you can see it. I'm going to be sewing like this. I'm going to be sewing it like this. Round, round, round to this side. I sew everything. I sew this side. Round to this side. I enter inside it. Try, remember to close this side. And close this side also. So when, when I'm done finishing it, I when I finish it, I open one side and bring it out. So I'll be showing you how I will do that. Finish sewing it. So I'm done with the sewing now. So the next thing to do is to find one place to open. Find somewhere to open. Yeah, you can open this. Thing. Just find somewhere to open that it will not show. Let I stitch it back. So this is where I open my. From this side, I open little place like this. So I will see stitch it back. So I'm going to remove it now for you to see it. I'll bring it out. So this is what I'll be fixing for that my sleeve side that will make it to start. So if you want it to be longer than this, you can increase your your length and depends how you want it. But this is my own. I want my sleeve to stop somewhere here at the three quarter. All right. So if you want it to be longer than that to reach up to this side, you now you can now increase uh, increase the length of your uh of your peplum. All right, the length of this one I use, I use the uh, length of uh, 20. That is what I use for the length. Depends how the length you want it to be. All right, so the next I'll be doing now, I will join both the front, the back together and fix my sleeve. I've done the sleeve. I use the, um, I use lining to turn the sleeve. All right, see, look at the, my sleeve. I'm done with it. And I've done the peplum. I hope I, sh okay. This is the peplum, uh, this uh, the gun peplum. So I'll be fixing all everything together, and I'll be showing you one by one on how I'm doing that. Uh, all right. I will first of all join this stamp part first. After I join this stamp part first, I now join my upper side. So I'll be joining them different, different. Now let me first of all join the shape as in shape it different different. Let me first of all shape the damp part before shaping the upside. Now my waistline is my waist is four is forty. 
Now, 40 divided by 4 is 20. Now, this is where I normally, this is how I normally do my, my shaping. I shape from the zip part. I divide my, my waist into 4. What I got there was 10 inches. So I'll be placing my 10 inches from this side. Now, from this waist side here, from this my zip side, I'm going to measure 10 inches here. All right, 10 inches for my waist. The same 10 inches I measure for this other side. 10 inches, this other side. Now, if I take the measurement all together, what I will get there is 20 inches. You see, it's 20 inches. Instead of taking it like this and going long process, just divide your waist into four and take it. Like I said, it's 10 inches. My waist divided by four is 10 inches. So this is my 10 here. This is another 10 here. Now I come down to my hip side. I hope you understand what I'm doing. My hip is 12. That is 48. 48 divided by, by 4 is 12. So this is my 12 inches here. For my this, I'll place my tape at my zip side and measure 12 inches. All right. I hope you see it. This is my waist and this is my hip side. Now I'm going to take this my 12, the same 12 to this other side. I measure 12 inches from this side. Please ask your question so that I can reply you back. Now from my hip again here, this side, I measure my 12 inches. I hope you see it here. It's very easy. Instead of taking it like, like this, like, like I said it before, like taking it like this, Taking like this and divide and no, just take it very simple. Take it like this and take it like that. Now I come down to my knee length. My knee length here, whatever I I take from my waist, my hip, that is what I will take from my knee length. Please watch my vid, watch the video on how to cut the dress. I explained things there very very well. Now whatever I get from this hip, like I said, is what I will give. Right, um, uh, measure on this knee side. My hip is 12. Remember, I come to this my knee length here. I measure that same 12 inches. See my 12 here. See the 12 this side. Hope you see it. Now I take the same 12 inches. I take it down to my full length. I hope you are getting it now. To my full length, 12 inches. So I'm going to use ruler to connect everything together. The same thing here, I place it like that, like that, up to this, go this side also, 12 inches. I come this side again, 12 inches. I connect everything together. So I'm going to be shaping this one before doing the upper side. All right, so I've used chalk to connect everything together. So the next I'll be uh, shaping now. This place I use chalk to to mark I'll, that is where i'll be making my sewing i'm going to be staying on top the chalk follow the chalk all the way down so the next thing to do now is to shape my blouse before i attach my peplum all right this is the front part please before shaping it make sure that you use of uh, the the pin to make sure you you get the middle part of the back the, of the front so that you use pin to hold the back, the middle part, the middle part of the um, front, and the uh, zip part. You use needle pin to hold it down, so that you, you will, uh, so that it will not be shifting. All right. Like I said, I love uh, using pin for my work. And please shape from the back. Don't shape from the front, from the zip part. That is where you take your shape. Now I continue my shaping. Like I said, shape from the back. From my hand hold here, I place my my tape. My round board is um ten and a half. That is forty two divided by four is ten and a half. But I'm not going to be showing that ten and a half. I will shift my hand to up to eleven. I add just I add half inches. 
when you are making your dress, either you add little inches when cutting it, or when you are sewing it, you add you add half or one inches. Why? Because to free the bust area, it will make it not too tight. All right. Now, I, like I said, my normal bust, my round bust now is ten and a half. Instead of putting that ten and a half, I'm using um eleven inches. I hope you see it. 11 inches i use 11 inches instead of 10 and half i use 11 inches i add half inches for my hole please before doing all this thing try pin your work it's very very important it makes your work to come out very very neat now when you are cutting your dress you take shaping you take shape from your you take measurement from your uh as in you shape under bust but when you are shaping your dress you don't shape again from under the bust go to your waist and take your shape now my weight, remember the weight of my uh of the damp part is ten inches. So the ten that ten I'll be using for this my uh the weight of this upper side because I'm still going to add it together as in join everything together. All right, I'm going to be adding that ten inches. The same that ten inches. I hope you understand it. Now I come to this side, the same 10 inches, 10 inches is what I'm taking. Please, if you have a question on this work, you ask. Please drop your, uh, your message on the comment box. I will reply you immediately. And if you have not subscribed, please do me where to subscribe on this my channel. Like my video and share my video. Hit down on that red button down there and subscribe for me. Please, subscribe on my channel. Now I come back to my boss. I go up to my boss again. Remember, I said what I take there is 11 inches. It's 11 inches. Instead of 10 and a half, I take 11 inches because I don't want my boss area to be tight. Let, after I'm going to connect everything together, I will be connecting everything together now. In order to connect everything together. So, this is where I will be showing now. I'm going to be showing this way. In case when you are showing this dress, uh, look at what I'm going to do. Let me show you again. I'm showing it for this sewing here. When you place your um, sewing like this, make sure to take your hand inside. Sew and enter inside a little. Twist, twist like this. Curve it little and join your sewing. I hope you get it. Just join inside. You see? Just curve inside a little. Not inside there. Just need to curve inside. And still follow the same that line, so it down. And before sewing all these things, first of all, use your lining, turn the shoulder part. Now, this is how you turn your shoulder before shaping it. You turn your shoulder first. Now, take the fabric like this fabric to fabric. Do this particular one, it's, it's very, very, it's very, very okay. Take this fabric together. The fabric to fabric together and use pin to hold it down first. Look at it. Fabric and fabric together. That is the uh the back one and the front one first. See now after I bring my my two lining together and pin it again. I hope you see what I'm doing here. Very, very easy. When you do this method, you see that sewing will be very, very easy to see. So what I'll be doing now, see how it is now. Fabric is different, why the main, the linings are different. So I'm going to be sewing like this now. I'll show it with half inches straight down. All right? I'm going to be sewing it like this. So this says I marked up is what I'll be sewing like this. See how straight fabric and fabric are together, line and lining together. So I'm going to be sewing like this straight down. Later, I turn it inside See how it is? So this is how I will do for this other side. Before, after I've done that, before I'll now come and shape my dress. So after I finish shaping this dress, the next thing to do again is to, I, the next is to fit my sleeve. Is to fit my sleeve. Like I said earlier, when you are shaping again, always enter inside a little like this and follow it straight down. This is my right sleeve. So this is my right sleeve, six inches. My knee, uh, my elbow sleeve, 
round table split with Chris and Mihal. So I make sure that I match it. I follow the uh the sewing. So after that, after I sew this, I'm gonna sew the split different. I'll fit it to my before fitting to my dress. I'm gonna show you how I fit it. This is the peplum for the dress. So the, you remember that paper is the paper has uh, it has over wrap at that front side. If you look at the front very well, it has wrap in there. It's wrap. So I'm gonna be shaping it for you to see. This is look at how it is. From this mat, cheap mat here, use your chalk to curve it like this. Curve it. So I'm gonna be cutting it now for that uh, dress for that shape to come out. I will I will cut it and. And sew it back. See what I'm doing now. So, so what I will do now after this, I'm going to take it again to my machine, sew it, and turn it. To the right side to make it uh, neater. So I hope you see how I I do it. When I'm stitching it, I'll be showing you that I fix my standing play for my play. So this is my standing play. That is what I'll be stitching last, 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 last at the end of this uh, video. Um, keep on watching the video to the end. And if you know you have not subscribed for me, do well to subscribe for me on this channel. Like my video and share my video. Keep watching and see how I'll be stitching all these things. So that is this my play. This my peplum stand at the, the slim area. Very, very nice. Keep on watching my video. Alright, so I'll be fixing my peplum on my on the top side, on on the upper side. Try not the middle part for the upside for the front part. Because I I start Touching my peplum from the back side, from the zip side, I pin it down all the way to the, the front where I'll be making the wrapping. I don't have enough fabric for this to work. In case you're making yours, increase the um, display so that it will wrap very well. So, this is how I'm going to wrap it. I come to this, my front, my, the notching part, I press it like this. This is how it will be and, and wrap it like this. Like that one you're seeing on the on my on the picture, it wraps up to this side. Alright, try to try to include, uh, increase your fabric when you're making yours. You see how it's gonna come out. So this is how you fix it. Please face it. Face this dress. The face to face. This is the face uh, the peplum face and this is the, the upper face all right make sure that you face it together like this look at it again so as this guy will be showing now all right i hope you are seeing it very well so you can see how see this the how it's going to come out so in case you are making your like i said earlier increase um your fabric so that it will wrap very well it will wrap and pull all right, so I will use my pin now to pin it. Before sewing it, pin it so that you know remove. Like I said, always use pin when you're doing your work. So I'll be, I'll use, I will use pin to pin it round. So after I sew it all the way round. So this is how the wrapping comes out. When I'm done with it, this is how it's going to come out. See my wrapping like this. This is how it's going to come out. But like I said, Increase your fabric if you want it more. Uh, if you want it to pull many, if you want it to pull much, so that this wrapping, this particular wrap, will come up to this side. Will cover up to this uh, side here. All right. See. I hope you see what I'm doing here. This is the wrap. This is the first two. Look at it. And this one that is on top. Like I said again, increase your fabric to wrap up to this side. Okay. So I'm gonna be. Sewing it now round from my zip. I sew it round. I sew it half inch all the all the way around. So after sewing this particular one, the next thing to do now, um, remember I said I fixed this 
I think my prayer can be stopped first before joining the program path. What do they say? Yeah. I'll be joining the God, the, uh, the, da, the up path and the down path. This is the down path, this is the up path. Remember, I just finished um, joining my sleigh. Now put it, uh, turn it inside. Look at what I'm doing. I hope you're seeing it right. Turn it inside. Make sure that this 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 is my sleigh. This is my the top the the upper part. This is the place that I sit. The one I sit earlier. So I put everything inside like this. You see what I'm doing? I put it inside like this. Make sure that everything is inside. You see what I'm going to be doing right now? I hope you understand what I'm doing. So I've pushed everything inside. I see it very well now. This is the upper part that I sit before. Like I said, this is the the peplum. So the peplum and the top will, will join, will face together. So I push it inside before joining this damp part. I hope you see it. Now I take the damp part. This is my damp part. Remember, make sure that you turn it inside. Turn the right side inside. Make sure that this play and the upper part face together. So I take my damp part. This is the damp part. I turn the damp part at the right side like this. This is the right side of the damp part. I put it inside. Why am I not? Why am I doing this thing? Is because I don't want any um, rough edge to show. Uh, as when you open your uh, the the sleigh and the peplum, there will not be any rough edge there for it to get perfect clean job. This is how you do it. So I push it this thing inside. I look for the back part. So this is my back part here. I make sure that is the back part of the blouse. This is the blouse. And this is the damp part. And this is the upper part. This is the damp part. I make sure that the zip part join together. I use my pin to pin it, to hold it down. So this is what I'll be doing. I make sure that I pin everything round. I've used pin to pin it round. So when you are pinning it, make sure that the upper dart and the damp part, the damp part and that join together. That is why I said that I'm using pin to do that. I have pinned it all round. For this side show you, make sure that the damp part also show you join together. So I have put it, look at it now. I'm going to be showing half into, I'm going to be showing half into round to the dress. All right, I hope you are seeing it. I'm going to be showing it round. All right, I'm done with it. I'll bring it out for you to see. See how smooth it's going to be. All right, so I'll bring it out. This is my work. So see what I was uh, telling you. Look at it down here. It will be very smooth. There will be any, there will not something like a rough edge there. It's because the way I sit it. That is why you will see anything. Uh, you can even if you please raise your uh, your peplum up, it will still be very very smooth. So this is how to sit it. So after this, now the next I'll be doing is my sleeve. I'm going to be sitting my sleeve right now. This is my sleeve. This is how I'll be showing it. I will first of all show my show this 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 line first. I took my last, my last sleeve, my cable sleeve. Um, I'm going to be showing from this side now. After that, I will now come and attach it. I use pin to pin the sleeve. I pin my sleeve around. I'm going to be showing it now with half into. I pin this one also. I bring it out. Look at how it is. So this one now. After I pin it, I will take it to the machine now. My last machine. All right, the next I'll be sitting now is my peplum shape for sleeve. So I'm going to be sitting it from this sleeve here, from this leg part. I will take it and follow the, the design down to my sleeve, my full length of sleeve. Let me see I'm going to end it. So that is the next I'll be doing right now to fit my peplum stand. 
keep on watching this video please subscribe on this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you all right i am done with this dress so the next thing i will be on on this um paper stand i will use a uh, needle to tack it i'm gonna use needle to tack it all the way to this um the full length of my sleeve is the needle i'll be using to do the tacking um that is how i'm, go I'm going to be doing it you see how uh, how stand is comes out give it a try for it to stand like this you need to use this uh, um peplum stay that is what you use to do this work it come out like this thank you very much for taking your time to watch the video god bless you love you bye, -bye.